impressive, exceptional and extraordinary. This is who the Asia One Person of the Year, an exclusive intellectual property right of the Asia One magazine is. Along with Asia One Global Indian of the Year, world's greatest brands and leaders, Asia's greatest brand and leaders and India's greatest brands and leaders IPRs, Asia One Person of the Year is a prestigious annual selection of the most prominent personalities globally. It is entirely made up of those who have really made a mark for other leaders to follow and generations to admire. Only par excellent leaders from across the world are highly admirable because of their highly innovative ideas, excellent business sense, political or administrative acumen or extraordinary contributions to the society. In 2018, in a ceremony held in Dubai, the people who have not only worked to place their brands globally, but have also embossed Asia on the world map, were honored in a glittering ceremony. Hello and a very warm welcome to a brand new edition of World's Greatest Brands and Leaders here on NewsX. I am Richa Kapoor. Today on the show, I'm in conversation with Shehnaz Ahmed. She's the principal founder of Springdale's High School, Jarad Assam. Welcome to the show, ma'am. Thank you very much. It's a uh, great pleasure to be with you. Can you tell us something about your journey of your school and establishing it and getting it to here in 2019? Thank you very much. It's a, uh, it's a very important question that, uh, that you have put across. Yes, this has been a very, very challenging thing for me. I love doing things which challenges me. Springdale is, is very close to my heart. To tell you very frankly, uh, I have two sons and Springdale is my third baby. So I'm sure you can very well understand when you have your third baby and the youngest, how well you would nurture it. So Springdale has been very close to my heart. I love it. And this journey which has been going on with me for the last 30 years was such a, was so challenging, but at the same time it was so enjoying that I enjoyed every moment of it. Never did I ever find it anything boring. Never did I find that let me go back, but every time I thought that let me keep on achieving more and more because it is something that, that I have really believed in. It absolutely, the way you explain and talk about it shows your passion towards your school, towards what you're trying to give back to the society. Right. It's not very easy and to do it constantly over a period of time. You've helped students from Assam get educated, reach new heights. So in your school, which is in Assam, are the students only from the state or are they from other states as well and other countries as well? Yes, we do have students also from different states because Assam, Jorhat is a tea hub and we also have the uh, oil industry there. So we have children coming from Deradun, from Gujarat and from the, uh, from the south. Since parents are, uh, are on transfer most of the time, so we do have children coming from every side and because of the tea fraternity we do have uh, have a lot of children coming from west bengal too so there is a mix there is a big mixture of students coming right from jorhat from assam from the different parts of assam and also from different uh, states of assam and to tell you very frankly i did have students also coming from doha since since it is a uh, uh, since it is also a tea hub and also it, is, uh, it has got different kinds of industries out here. So people are on transfer and they do come from different parts of India also and from different parts of the world also. Your school is a complete replica of what we call India. It's full of diversity. That's what yes. India is all about and that's right. what the students from your school are learning yes. from different backgrounds, from different states. That's a very good thing because it really helps especially in a form of education. Right. Therefore, uh, something like that is your vision. What is your mission ahead? What are your long-term and short-term plans when you look at things like this? Because this has evolved over three decades You're and right. we hope it continues forever. Yes. Uh, right now, my short-term uh, short mission and my vision is to make the school go up to a level which is on the national and on the international level. But it is not only bringing them up to a level without having much belief in it, without having much trust in it. I believe that it should be a very, very holistic kind of education. Children should be very happy coming to the school. You know, I really believe that a child should be very happy coming to the school and the more happy the child is, 
the more happy the school is. And the more happy the school is, the more productive the school is. So that is my, big, that is my biggest vision for my long term, you know, to make it very productive, to bring it to the level of a very big holistic development, to make my students job creators more than job seekers. That's my vision. And that is the new India now. That is yes. exactly what we talk about, vision ahead, the Gen Next, what you're preparing them for. Yes. for and talking about Gen Next and things that we're doing newer, is achieving something which you've not achieved earlier. And being a world's greatest leader award that you've won, your brand has won the world's greatest brand award. This is in itself an achievement for you and your brand. How important do you consider that these awards are for you in person? Uh, important for you as a professional and for your school as a brand how important it is when you see it on a larger spectrum yes uh, to, tell you, to tell you again very frankly uh, these kind of prizes awards are very important to us but I would not just limit it only to getting the awards now there has been a great great responsibility on my shoulder because you know when when you get an award people would, uh, would just look up to you and they would want more from you. So my responsibility has increased two-folds, three-folds, ten-folds. And now I need to put all my strength into this whole thing and to bring it up into a more and more better level. So thank you again to Asia's Greatest Brands and Leaders for giving me such a big award. And I think I'm, I'm still at a kind of a shock whether I am really a great leader or not. Absolutely, you are. You're very well deserving because some a brand like that would not acknowledge you if they would not consider that and absolutely you are one of that greatest leaders that the country can have and people look up to talking about we are sitting on the other side of the table we both are women yeah. it is very important we all talk about women empowerment nowadays yes, yes you come from the Northeast and there I would say you are a role model for not just few but many and not just women but uh, men younger generation you nurture them uh, do you consider that your role has become larger now and what, how do you help up living up to the expectations of people? Yes, my role has become very, very large now because this is something that uh, people would look up to me and they would, they would also desire a lot of things out of me now. They would think that I must be a role model for them. But uh, at the same time, I'm, uh, I also have my limitations of my energy, of my strength. So I would live, love to become, to remain healthy and to give it back to the society, whatever way I can give it back to them. And uh, for, for women, I would say that I've been working a lot on women issues and uh, that's how I would now try to make them feel more wanted in the society. I would tell them that there is something inside us, a great power, and you just take out your power and you keep on working with your full strength. Don't give it up at any level, whatever be the reason. Um, you've been regarded as the world's greatest leader and your school as the world's greatest brand. How do you think about it? I would like to thank Asia Magazine for giving me this opportunity to become the world's greatest brand and leaders 2019. Thank you very much once again. Ma'am, it's been a pleasure having in conversation with you and for hearing from you the, all that you've given to the society. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you.